in a few weeks, I want to say three weeks from now, we'll be back in that five o'clock hour for our sunsets. Nice. So it's coming. Yes. We're, we're on our way to summer, everybody. Uh, we still have quite a bit of winter to go, though. So here's what it looks like outside from our Shriners Hospital camera. Temperatures in the mid 40s. It's calm across the metro area. Uh, mostly cloudy skies, but we did see uh, those clouds thinning throughout the day today. Skeebel has been a super popular spot uh, today. You can see lots of uh, skiers here in the shot getting ready to head down that pizzazz run as we look from our Mount Hood Ski Bowl camera. It was absolutely beautiful up on the mountain this afternoon. Uh, even more sunshine up there since they were above that uh, cloud level. Temperatures right around freezing at the base of Mount Hood. And let's take a look at today's high temperatures. Like I mentioned earlier, a little warmer than what we were expecting. We're actually a couple degrees warmer than average here in the Portland area. 48 was our high temperature today. Uh, mid to upper 40s for Salem and Eugene. Mid to upper 40s for the coast as well. Central Oregon seeing low 40s and 30s as you head further east. LeGrand hit 40 degrees today. Burns only hit 24. All right, let's walk through what we've got ahead of us here for the first week of the year. We're still staying dry overnight. This is 10 o'clock tonight. Just seeing clouds for most of us across the region. A little breezy there. You can see the blue arrows, kind of that um, east wind coming through the gorge. Uh, so that's going to be the case tomorrow morning, especially if you're east side, you're going to be feeling that. But this is tomorrow morning. Everybody's staying dry. You see that wet system approaching here. So it's going to be over the south coast around midday. And then as this low pressure system kind of spins up to the north, we'll see the precipitation uh, moving north along the coastline. So a decently wet day along the coast. Those of us in the metro area, though, we likely aren't going to see any precipitation until tomorrow evening, uh, pretty late in the evening, actually. Now, I don't want you to panic. We see some blue here, uh, which would indicate snow, but we're not going to be seeing any snow here in the lowlands. Our snow level is going to be about 1,000 feet here, so it's possible if you're up in the hills in the higher elevations, you maybe see some wintry mix, some snowflakes mixing in there. But for most of us, it's just going to be rain tomorrow night. Uh, we'll eventually dry out early Tuesday morning and then we get another round of rain here in the afternoon followed by some spotty showers after so Tuesday night that's 10 o'clock we'll be drying out starting Wednesday dry still seeing uh, mostly cloudy skies for us and uh, east wind is going to be picking back up again so it kind of tapers off a little bit on Tuesday kicks back up Wednesday and Thursday so let's take a look at that wind gust forecast here so Tonight, uh, really west end of the gorge is going to be feeling those gusts in the 30 to 40 mile per hour range, kicking up just a little bit throughout the day or through the morning, I should say, tomorrow. So up to 50 miles per hour likely if you're along the east side, uh, but shouldn't be too terribly windy for us on the west side. Uh, sticking around, though, that east wind through the day on Monday, and like I mentioned, finally Tuesday morning, things will calm back down again. So this evening in Portland, staying dry, mostly cloudy, breezy near the gorge. Otherwise, uh, most of us seeing fairly calm conditions. We will be getting cooler more quickly tonight. So those temperatures going to be dropping and be around the mid to upper 30s around midnight. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy, gusty near the gorge, and we'll see that rain in the evening with the potential for a wintry mix in the hills. High temperatures will be in the low 40s, so just a hair cooler than today. Here's your seven day forecast. Uh, so we talked about tomorrow. Tuesday, we're also thinking we won't see precipitation until the second half of the day. And then the rest of the week, we're sort of, sort of just seeing showers at times. Again, there's that breezy east wind Wednesday and Thursday. It looks like we're trending a little bit more wet, though, as we head towards the next weekend. High temperature is going to be hanging out in the 40s. For the most part, we might touch 50 degrees on Friday. Anna? Thanks, Camilla.